Hey, I'm Jeff Johns. I'm the executive producer of Titans, and I'm on for All Nerds. What's up, y'all? This is your boy DJ Ben Amin here live at New York City Comic Con with the Four All Nerds team. And I'm standing here with a man who needs no introduction. I mean, come on now. This, if you know comics at all, you, I mean, not even comics, if you just know entertainment now, you know this man. We are here with Jeff Johns himself. How you doing, sir? Good, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm standing next to Jeff Johns. I mean, come on now. Thanks. It doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> so, how does it feel to finally see something like Titans coming to the screen? I mean, it, I love the Titans. You know, mm -hmm. I wrote the book for a while, and a bit. You know, I, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and I love uh, Dick Grayson, you know, and, and Beast Boy and Rachel yeah. Raven. And um, no, it's cool because we've been working on it for so many years, and to see it actually finally come to this big screen. And you know, I've been missing a Robin in live action for a long time, so it's yeah. fun to see him. Uh, it's fun to push the envelope and do something different. You know, and um, I'm just happy it's here. Like it's been, it's been a long time coming. Man. So as far as pushing the envelope, like you said, and doing something different, what made you all decide to go with a darker version so far, at least from what we've seen in the trailers and everything, than what we've seen in the Titans before? Well, the first season's really about Raven, okay. and she's struggling. If you know the character, she has a darkness <laughs> inside her, and she's struggling with it. Yep. And we really wanted to, we didn't, we talked about it, like, we're like, should we start with Dick Grayson as Nightwing? And it felt like, well, Dick Grayson as Nightwing, we're missing a lot of story opportunities to have him go from Robin to Nightwing. Mm -hmm. And so we really wanted to start him as Robin, and have him, like Raven, dealing with his own darkness. Yep. You know, that he has kind of almost a superhero PTSD from Batman, right? Which you would. And stress, right? Yeah, stress, <laughs> and uh, and so we found ourselves finding like Dick dealing with his darkness, emotional darkness internally, and Rachel dealing with her darkness, which is more literal. Yeah. And those two those two characters just led us down a darker path for this first season because it is all about how do you face that that you know that part of yourself that maybe you don't want to face, and and if you don't, it could build up and, and unleash and. And um, and through the course of the season, it's only by Dick bringing other people that are lost and, and other people that are trying to find their way together around him to help, that, that they can help Rachel. Okay, now speaking of helping Rachel and darkness, I couldn't exactly get it out of her, but will we see some of, let's say, the parental issues or, or the parental units that Rachel has to deal with? Yes. Wow. In, in all his glory. Yeah. Uh, eventually, <laughs> okay. yeah. what we're doing, like, you can see, like, the, they don't have, like, necessarily the costumes yet. Yeah. Like, you see some hints of the colors and everything. Mm -hmm. That will evolve as they become real titans, you know. And so, eventually, you will see, you know, things that are familiar from the comics. Monstrous and demonic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of the things we're trying to do is, like, you know, we are trying to make the show more grounded, I guess that means yeah. more more real. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a superhero show, and we don't want to lose the superhero aspect of what Titans is. Awesome. So, like we said, with the more real, more grounded, how do you feel like with, uh, there was some fan reaction when the trailers first dropped, and people were like, oh, like, what is this? This isn't the Titans I know. Yeah. Are you just like, be patient, just wait, you know, just wait on it where, you know? Well, I don't mind people being skeptical because they should be skeptical mm -hmm. and you know I really like where the show goes and I think people will be excited about it the when the trailer drops and they you know they drop the the now infamous line you know <laughs> F Batman uh, it is polarizing and in that context it, there's no other way for it to be anything mm -hmm. but polarizing because people don't know why yeah. right they think it's just trying to be edgy or cool and it's not it's actually part of his story and and when we went in there and really fine-tuned Dick Grayson's arc when you watch the first episode, you'll see that kind of be an exclamation point to something, and it and it makes sense in what his it says a lot about where his mindset is, um, and it's also fun to say. <laughs> I mean, like me when it when the line came out, I'm like, that is Dick Grayson. Like, what else is he gonna yeah. say after years of working with this yeah, asshole? But that's why it's polarizing, <laughs> though, because like some people loved it and some people didn't understand it and hated it. So it's and and I think the series is gonna explore that and many other things, and 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 I'm excited for people to see that. What tale of the Titans, like you know, from its vast history, would you most love to see? I mean. I mean, you can make it happen, so. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't want to say because we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, but there is there is one specific, um, there's a couple specific stories that we'll do, but there's one specific story that I'm dying to do, and we're going to be doing it. 
Not anything with Ju Judas, Judas, Judas. Say, <laughs> Don't break my heart twice. I can't say anything about it. <laughs> Anybody. Well, thank you so much for joining us. This has been a pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah, love it so much. Can't wait to see it.